The era of 1945 represented the struggle for an uncertain future of the German people, who were just beginning to recover from the devastation caused by the war. By that time, their industrial capacity had been reduced to a fraction of what it had been at its peak. However, one of the industries that was crucial, especially due to its tireless work both before and after the conflict, was the agricultural sector which then relied on little more than primitive tractors and working animals. This noble endeavor served as an inspiration for a former Daimler-Benz engineer named Albert Friedrich, who aimed to drive the industry forward by creating a reliable unit, conceived as an alternative to the tractors of that era. His idea was to design a vehicle that could assist in agricultural tasks while being capable of transporting loads in challenging terrains and urban areas simultaneously. The outcome was a kind of 4x4 truck tractor, able to overcome obstacles such as rivers or rocky slopes and travel at speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. His desire to modernize the German agricultural industry began to bear fruit in 1948. After presenting the prototype of his unique vehicle, named the Unimog, at a trade fair in Frankfurt, he received an extremely positive response. Its performance, versatility, and excellent handling were praised. This marked the beginning of mass production, which was initially undertaken by a company specializing in tool manufacturing and iron casting known as Boehringer, now operating under the name VDF Behringer. Incredibly, the production of this truck could have been halted due to regulations from allied countries, which prohibited Germany from developing military vehicles. However, the Unimog continued, but only on the condition that none of these units would be used for purposes beyond agriculture or public services. Thanks to this, it was possible to produce an initial batch of 600 units of a model named the Unimog 7200, of which there are at least 120 in good condition today, and some are still in operation. The enthusiastic reception by German farmers overwhelmed Beringer's production capacity. Consequently, in 1951, Daimler-Benz acquired the manufacturing rights for the vehicle. Following the reinstatement of the development team, Unimog production continued, achieving remarkably impressive sales numbers. In the first year under Daimler's management alone, over 1,000 units were sold. This figure continued to rise, nearly quadrupling in the second year, resulting in a sale of approximately 3,800 units. This change of ownership brought forth multiple improvements, enabling it to undertake various additional tasks in industrial sectors like forestry and public services, along with enhancing its versatility in the agricultural domain. Gradually, it adapted to new roles, functioning as a support vehicle for fire departments and contributing to road construction projects. Its capabilities made it well-suited for diverse environments as it could attach various tools even serving as a snow removal equipment during intense winter seasons. By 1955, the Unimog concept began a process of evolution and adaptation to meet new demands for hard work. In that year, a new model was introduced, known as the U404, which, being larger than a conventional agricultural tractor of the time, became classified as a small truck. It retained a simple and efficient design that ultimately became appealing to several countries. They saw it as a potential addition to their fleets, considering it for roles such as an emergency vehicle and even for military use. This fact allowed Daimler to obtain the necessary permission to produce trucks focused on military purposes, primarily for troop transport. While Argentina was one of the first nations to begin using these vehicles, Armies worldwide now rely on Unimog, with a presence in countries such as Denmark, Spain, the Netherlands, and Mexico. This is partly because, in addition to being highly reliable units, they can transport up to 12 people, as well as provisions and materials necessary for troop deployment. However, this truck has served as the base platform for units built to fulfill highly specific purposes, many of which go beyond work applications. 
The key to its success lies in its reliability and efficiency, as well as the incorporation of new technologies and mechanisms that have driven the adaptability of each of the 12 generations that have emerged since its inception in 1945. The great versatility of its modular chassis in models like the U-406 has allowed them to be extensively modified to operate in tasks such as recovery and rescue services. This was the case with the legendary Mercedes Unimog car hauler, which was built in 1966, incorporating an innovative flexible loading system. It consisted of a hydraulic mechanism on the rear wheels that allowed it to lower the platform to ground level, enabling vehicles to be driven directly onto it without the need for ramps. This unique truck was equipped with a diesel engine with only 80 horsepower, which proved sufficient for its operations in Germany and Belgium. Later, in 2001, it was transported to the United States, where, in 2008, it became part of a prestigious vehicle collection. Although it is currently in perfect condition and fully operational, its restoration required an investment of over $50,000. However, the historical value of this unique concept is even greater. As although such vehicles are commonplace today, it represented a significant advancement for the industry in the 1960s. Taking a leap forward into more modern times, this powerful truck has evolved with the flow of technological advancements in the automotive industry. Despite its origins projecting it as a robust truck, it has become more sophisticated by implementing innovative systems tailored to municipal and agricultural tasks. An example of this is the Vario Pilot, a system that allows switching the steering column, as well as the instrument panel and other controls, from the driver's side to the passenger's side and vice versa. This change can be done in just 30 seconds, and its purpose is to provide a better overall view of the working environment, enhancing safety and ease of use for a wide range of tasks, primarily municipal tasks such as roadside maintenance. However, it also significantly aids in agricultural tasks where extreme precision is needed when using planting implements or similar tools. However, the might of this German engineering marvel isn't limited to aspects of reliability or even cutting-edge technology, but also extends to its power and significant ability to withstand hostile environments. This has been demonstrated in its role as support for emergency forest services and even in its participation in the Dakar rally. Nevertheless, one of the most prominent displays of the Nimog's power was its ascent to the Ojos del Salado volcano. Located in the Andes Mountains, there are multiple camps equipped with emergency radio systems used by mountaineers and scientists. In 2020, two Mercedes Unimogs were selected for transporting equipment to a camp situated at 6,100 meters above sea level. After completing their task, the expedition team aimed to break their previous record, which was achieved with a Mercedes Zetros in 2014. Both used trucks belong to the U5023 model, equipped with twin-turbo diesel engines producing 230 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. To achieve this feat, they were fitted with special snow and high mountain tires and underwent modifications to alter their center of gravity. They reached an incredible altitude of 6,694 meters above sea level, setting the record for the highest recorded climb by a wheeled vehicle. A curious aspect of this iconic Mercedes truck is that its name is an acronym derived from the German term Universal Motor Gerat, which literally translates to Universal Motorized Device. Furthermore, due to its inspiration from the German agricultural sector, its initial logo included an ox, which was commonly used during that era for farming work in the fields. While the Unimog has gone through numerous processes of evolution, changes and adaptations to meet the new needs of the global market, it retains the formula that initially made it so acclaimed. It still features a rigid and compact chassis, all-wheel drive, and the ability to accommodate multiple tasks, making it suitable for various applications in any industrial sector.
These qualities have earned it a reputation and recognition by many as the best all-terrain truck in history. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.